everybody! Welcome to my video. I have new hair. Uh, it didn't become as pretty as I thought. I wanted it to be more violet. Like I like this color. I wished it was the whole thing like that color. But I'm still kind of happy. I like the change and I was kind of getting bored with the whole black thing. So I decided to do a little bit of something new and I think I'm gonna just, you know, like try to grow this out and make it this nice lavender color or like violet color because I really like violet. It's one of my favorite colors ever. Um, in today's video, we are talking about soft and nice scents and like coziness. And this was a really hard pick for me to pick my like softest fragrances, but I did my best. And everything that ties these together is like they're non offensive skin scent like. They're so cozy, you just want to like close up and you feel so nice when you put them on. They're like super soft. And most of these are compliment getters, I'm gonna get into which ones. And I'm gonna also tell you why we have these. So we have some woody elements here, we have some vanillas for all those vanilla lovers out there. We've got sandalwood, we've got musk, like clean, soapy musk. We've got a little bit of like cotton candy, we've got cupcakes, everything nice, okay. So we've got a great assortment of different kind of things here, uh, mainly ranging from florals to musks to gourmands, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video. And I was being really harsh with my collection. I really wanted to do my best to just include the ones that feel soft to me on my skin and that make kind of me feel nice and these are most of these are the type that if somebody wants to smell them on you they have to hug you okay like these are not beasts they're just super cozy hazy nice and soft so yeah i'm gonna start with uh jean arthes uh, uh, body mists and the first one that I really like is this Skill Sky is the Limit Lolly Unicorn. And this one is a cotton candy uh, fragrance. It is just really cute. It's hazy cotton candy. Uh, it smells like this color. It smells like the color of my hair, actually. <laughs> it's like lavender in a bottle. It's so cute. It is extremely, um, extremely kind of like bright, but at the same time, it has that fluffiness of that cotton candy and the notes in this are top notes are banana and coconut which gives it a little bit of just a tiny bit of that cre creaminess and softness together and it has middle notes of strawberry and apple uh, peach and hot milk and I honestly to me it just smells like cotton candy and I really like this it kind of reminds me of that uh, pink bottle from Ariana Grande, like the pink little fuzzy thing, um, like candy something. That one, it a little bit, it's a little bit similar but more coconutty. And I don't get apple. I hate apple, but I do get the banana and I do get like that cotton candy thing. This doesn't last a super long time. It's more of a skin scent where somebody can like uh, smell you while they hug you. It's really cute, flirty, sweet. Uh, maybe a little bit childish, okay, but I still love it. And I've gotten a really lo mo many compliments on this. People think it's really cute and it's a really non-offensive one. And I think that this works with even wonky skin chemistry like mine. So this one is great, I like it. Um, another from the same series is this one. This is a uh, Sexy Shamalo and I've talked about this on my channel. This is a vanilla cupcake body mist <laughs> and it smells exactly like that. It's just nice little uh, vanilla cupcake batter, which it smells like. And maybe a little bit of that like marshmallow powderiness. 
you know, like the marshmallows have that little powder sugar on top, like it smells like that, and vanilla, and I re really like it. This is like almost like your skin, but better. And I find that this one is really good for like work where just like the last one, like people don't notice it unless you're like really close or sweating a lot, then they can like get a little bit of like something vanillic, but it's kind of like super skin scent. So nice in that. Talking about more like skin scent vanillas, this is actual perfume, uh, but this is Billie Eilish Eilish. Love the bottle, it's so pretty. Uh, but this is a little bit of a green vanilla. It's a very bath, bath and body works type mm, fragrance. The vanilla in this has definitely like to me, it has like green edge. A little. But once it deepens, especially in the top notes, like there's something green in it. And it's kind of like not a super gourmand, it's more like fresh vanilla, okay? But then it kind of deepens a little bit and you get like creaminess, you get that kind of like lactonic element and it starts to smell like a very nice washed skin with some vanilla and some uh, florals in the background or like some herbs or something. And yeah, I think that this is a super non-offensive one. I like it, it's very linear, it stays the same. Uh, after the initial blast of like greenness. This is a great like nighttime scent. It's a no-brainer, non-offensive, but the only complaint I have of this is that the vanilla in this is not like gourmandy deep vanilla, it's more like that Bath and Body Works vanilla, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a perfume. Like, I have body mists that are quite similar to this, but this is more long lasting. So in that way, like, okay, it's a perfume, but it's definitely not like super gourmand if you're looking for that. Like there are many more like deep, soft gourmands than this one, okay? But I still kind of like it, I layer it a lot. It's good for layering. So yeah. And then this is the uh, last kind of like pure vanilla type of, or like mainly vanilla type. But I wanted to put Lalique Le Parfum here. I absolutely adore the bottle, it's so cute. Uh, this one is a super nice skin scent. So this is uh, vanilla and bay leaf. I'm sorry, in my former video I said that it has rosemary, I meant bay leaf. I don't know why I said rosemary. It has this herbalicious aspect, green aspect of, uh, and aromatic aspect of that bay leaf, but it's so pretty. It's almost like uh, like vanilla. It, I imagine like if you were collecting vanilla outside, like it smells so natural and fresh and like that greenness in it is so nice aromatic um, that this is a very unique fragrance in my opinion. It's super soft, it's nice, but it has that like aromatic quality that gives it a little bit more freshness and greenness. And I think that this is not maybe a safe blind buy. Like if you don't like green aspects in your fragrances or aromatics, this might not be for you. But this is absolutely one of my best vanillas. Like this is one of my favorite vanillas. I haven't had this for a long time and I've already dented it. Um, but yeah, I definitely like this and I might get another bottle once I run through this. Um, it's... It's very long lasting and that herbal aspect kind of goes away uh, after three hours and you're left with a very nice skin scent vanilla that does project only when your skin becomes warm or when you pass through crowds or when people hug you and it's really nice. So for green lovers out there, for fairies, for people who like vanilla and green stuff, this is your go-to. Do not sleep on this, this is one of my best, best fragrances, like it's so good quality, I really love this, okay? <laughs> so then, uh, we're going, delving a little bit into the kind of uh, vanilla and, or like the floral end of spectrum, and for that I need to tell you guys about Louis Varel Extreme Rose, which is 
Mancera Rose is funny copy and oh my god this is so pretty it's <laughs> sugar water fresh rose and creamy creamy nice vanilla like a true vanilla true skin scent vanilla and white musk and it is beautiful it is something that probably will smell beautiful on anyone it's almost a little bit like clean soapy type this is the most feminine thing I own, okay? This is so feminine, innocent, beautiful. And I've gotten so many compliments on this. Like, um, a couple of men at work have been saying that I smell amazing when I wear this. And they wonder, like, what soap I use. And, um, yeah, so this is a compliment magnet. I've got so many compliments on this. This does not last as long, I've heard, as the Mancera Roses Vanny. I'm really excited to try that one once I run through this, but I want to use this first. But this is honestly like one of my most prettiest scents. It's not alcoholic at all, like it's not sharp at all, it's pretty. It smells so natural, so cute, absolute amazing buy. This was like 19 euros. It lasts for like six to seven hours, which is crazy. It's so gorgeous on skin. Honestly, do not sleep on this one. I'd say that this is also one of my like absolute favorites. I've been wearing this like crazy, like I've made a huge dent. <laughs> you can't see it from the bottle, but like I need to get on that roses vanny. <laughs> yeah, so Louis Varel Extreme Rose. This is a compliment magnet. I've got like three compliments in the past like two weeks on this, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Then, uh, one of my all-time favorite masks for that like soft, feminine, powdery, uh, like fuzzy, fuzzy <laughs> type. And this is one of my first ever fragrances, Noah by Casharel. This is a completely unique fragrance. I've never smelled anything like it. I absolutely love the bottle. It's like a small little... Uh, like art piece. I love the little pearl in there. I think it is so beautiful, gorgeous little, just amazing fragrance. And everyone who likes musks and who likes like skin scents should own this fragrance, in my opinion. It's not dated at all. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's just when I when I want to wear like like no fragrance. Or like I wanna smell like my skin and no fragrance. Uh, I wear this because it's like my skin but better. It's like my skin but after a good night's sleep and being really refreshed, you know, something like that. It's so nice, it lasts a long time, but this is absolutely one of those soft scents that peop that doesn't project, that people have to argue to actually like smell it on you. But this is like so innocent, so beautiful. Uh, this is all ages appropriate. And it is so nice. It has this kind of uh, little tiny bit of uh, blown out candle type of smell, just a little, which makes it so much different from any other masks I own. And it's super long lasting. This is one of my favorite mask scents, if not my favorite, honestly. So yeah. Uh, Cacharel Noah. And I got it got it from my boyfriend and my grandma wore it. So it has sentimental value to me also. So much. So that one. I'm wearing it today. And I really love it, okay. <laughs> Next up. The Body Shop Coconut uh, Fragrance Mist. And as you can see, I've used it a lot. Ooh. <laughs> and this one. This is just... A creamy nice skin scent type coconut maybe a little bit like that sandal woodiness or something but it's really linear and this is one of those that smells almost like just skin like nothing too weird like just linear skin scent like soft skin after shower that's what you get and it's really soft it doesn't smell like chemicals it's just a really nice one it's very creamy and hazy and like that kind of like I don't know like whipped cream type of element that's kind of like what these these all have that kind of like whipped effect where they're like really 
bouncy and soft and like stuff and this one is one of those like this is again one of those with Noah that I wear when I don't want to uh, smell like any fragrance per se I just want to smell like skin this is that okay it's really nice I love it I have these moods where I can't stand any other kind of fragrances especially nowadays sometimes I just want to be like smell nice but not smell too obnoxious and these are great for that so yeah this one lasts a pretty long time four to six hours and I think that's a great for vegan freshy honestly Next up, this is the brightest one of the bunch and I was debating whether I'm going to put it on this video but this is such a nice fragrance that it deserves uh, to be here especially because it's very cheap and that is Larry Pearl. Gorgeous little uh, fragrance, I love the bottle honestly, it looks way more expensive than it is but this one, it's citrus musk, okay, it's citrusy powdery musk. So this is this has definitely like more of that fresh edge to it, but the dry down is a super powdery petit grain type of uh, white musk. Okay, so this is really pretty once it dries down. The initial blast is a very like uh, <laughs> soft and sugary lemon, and once you get uh, kind of like through that it becomes this really nice skin scent that is powdery that smells like petit grain which is like one of my favorite uh, notes but it's so sad that uh, usually petit grain is used in men's fragrances so I'm really happy that they used it in this one I honestly don't know if this is duping something maybe or maybe it's their original one but this is a really good Larry. I really like this and actually this is another one that I've gotten so many compliments on. People say that it smells so nice and clean and fresh and like I just smell happy and fun uh, to be around. And actually one person made me tell them <laughs> which fragrance this is and they couldn't believe that it was only like 8 euros. That's how good this is. Um, so I just gave them the recipe of my success <laughs> and told them, yeah, it's Larry Pearl and it's eight euros. And they were like, no way, eight euros. And I'm like, yes. And it lasts a super long time, like eight plus hours, which is okay, girl. But yeah, the mask and powder, once this dries down is super nice. Do not let it fool you in the opening. The opening is a little sharp. Just gonna put that out there. It's a sharp lemon, but after that, like it blends perfectly with the musk and powder and the petty grain, which is the nicest one in this. Really love it. Don't sleep on this one either. If you like like a fresher white musk, that's your go-to chibi. Then um, talking about white masks, like masculine white mask this is a little masculine in my opinion and this is like white mask by tesori d'oriente and this is like if you took nivea body creams you you know body cream smell in niveas like they have this kind of almost powdery element like baby powder-esque element but there's like this metallic tinge in it like <coughs> i think it's soapy aldehyde with musk and with soapy scent so this is that but the thing about this one is that this is super long lasting and it's very metallic like there's it's almost like Nivea soap but super metallic with a like heavy dose of aldehyde and um, this one this one lasts for like days and days and days on skin and clothes and it can be a little cloying it can be a little like it's sharp it's a little sharp okay once it comes down it's way better but this is honestly one of those like super powerful masks and to me this leans masculine this is a masculine mask if you don't like masculine masks then this might not be for you it's definitely not as soft as the other ones i've talked about and the good thing about this is it projects like this is a projecting mask if you want people to smell, yeah, I smell like shower, I smell like I took a shower, then this is the one for you. 
or you want to refresh in like your wardrobe a little bit to make it smell like you used some kind of like uh, cotton washing type of uh, liquid on it then yeah sure but it's I'm just saying that this is a little bomb okay and this divides people you overspray people won't like you um, so this one is something that you need to be kind of kind of careful on the trigger mate uh, but that's usually the thing with uh, metallic fragrances anyway they're lo long lasting which is also one of the best things about this one like these combats sweat like nothing else like you put this on <coughs> and you're gonna go to a sweaty workplace like you're not gonna smell any sweat all you get is like baby powder metallic aldehydes and white mask like really strong masculine white mask and that's all and like there are times and places for that okay i've used this a lot i think that this is a great kind of like more deodorant -y type of smell but it's definitely something that's a required taste because of the aldehydes and not everybody's gonna like this and it's not a safe blind buy if you want a safe uh mask blind buy go with noah uh way more safe way more soft so just wanted to let you guys know and also on the same vein of like easier tesori d'oriente from the same series okay this one egyptus this is a rose rose mask powder um papyrus and it's pretty it's so pretty this is way easier on the nose in my opinion than the last one and if you want to kind of like try tesori d'oriente line but you don't want anything too metallic then get this one okay this is powdery this is rosy this is very pretty i've gotten many compliments on this and it lasts quite nicely on clothes but it does not last on skin that's the problem at least on me it dissipates really quickly like in an hour but on clothes it does kind of like keep on projecting but this is really nice it's it's one of the prettiest powder scents I've owned. It's just nice. It's so clean. I like the papyrus in it. It's very unique. And uh, that papyrus rose powder mix, it's just so nice. And this also has white mask in it, but this has a loads more powders than any of the other ones. This almost smells like... It almost smells like kind of like scented baby powder, like rose scented baby powder type, okay? I know it kind of sounds nasty, but it's not. It's really nice, okay? Like it's so pretty if you like powdery smells. Um, and the, in this, like the powders come way more out and the rose comes way more out and the musk is kind of like in the background, giving it longevity a little bit. Um, but yeah, this one is way more, more safe, way more feminine than this one, in my opinion. If you're a man, maybe go for this one. If you're a woman, maybe go for this one. But both are really good for the price, but in different ways, okay. Great. Next up, <laughs> we are taking a leap to the floral side of things. And we're talking about Elizabeth Arden, Sunflowers, Honey Days. This is a sunflowers uh, flanker it is so pretty it is green honeyed uh, white floral type of fragrance with some musk and it's so pretty it's so pretty it is fresh and pretty and natural smelling it is like your skin out of shower all that watery wateriness and humidity you can smell it that like honey floral type of really sweet but really innocent and uh, soft scent is gorgeous about this one this does not last a super long time it is not super musky there's just a hint of musk in the background giving it a little bit of that like element of ooh I am here also you know I'm skin scent um so this is for that nature lover who likes those like fresh it just rained on a flower field 
type of smells that are really fresh but really sweet also. So, and honey lo lovers that want a fresh smell, Honey Days is the one for you. This is honestly my favorite Elizabeth Arden at this moment. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. It's definitely more on the watery side, but because of the honey notes in it and because of that sugariness, it does kind of serve as a soft smell. It's like a soft, freshy <laughs> kind of thing. So I wanted to put it on this video. And last but not least, we are going to talk about my pick for the woody and unisex stuff and that's Louis Varel Extreme Oriental. Do not be afraid of the bottle. This is a really sweet, really soft scent. Ah, this is soft spicy at its finest. It's almost like a nipple coffee, like you know creamy coffee. You get like creamy coffee with all those nice little spices, kind of like rounding it up, warming it up a little bit. It is so pretty and it dries down into this beautiful sauna type cedar wood on your skin. And that is gorgeous, like cedar and sandalwood. Even more like sandalwoody, I think. But it's so woody, it's a little spicy but soft spicy. There's nothing harsh, no harsh spices, no like uh, chili type of things, n no pepper, nothing like that. Just like they are blending perfectly with everything else and that creaminess and there's a little bit of coffee to kind of like dark and this a little bit soft and this a little bit it's so pretty and honestly like this lasts it's like eight plus hours but it's skin scent it's so beautiful and my boyfriend loves this this is absolutely becoming one of my favorite woodier scents so if you're a man i would recommend you check this one out this is a such a nice like skin scent type that is likable so if you want a Middle Eastern likable type of scent, then I'd definitely go Louis Varel Extreme Oriental. Plus, like, the bottle is so gorgeous. <laughs> Can we just talk about it? Louis Varel bottles, oh my god. Like, it looks, it screams quality, it's so pretty. Yeah, so this one I've also worn a lot. <laughs> But it's definitely definitely leaning more to that date night evening type of stuff. But it's still like soft and sweet. Like you don't want to be obnoxious, you know, that kind of smell. Like you just want your hugs to feel like the nicest thing ever. And like warming and welcoming. That's a nice winter scent, okay? Especially like winter, autumn time. So cozy, okay? Yeah, so this was my soft sense and i hope you guys like this video i really tried my hardest to put together a really nice list for those people who don't like uh too obnoxious and too projecting sense i think you should be good with this and i really like you guys i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel Click on the notifications bell to get the notifications. And also remember to like us if you like us. Okay, I see you in my next one. Bye!